Hi, I'm Kat Wickersham. I'm part of a team from the University of Washington Foster School of Business. And we're working on a project to create sustainable revenue sources to provide scholarships to girls in Rwanda. We're working with an organization right now called the Rwanda Girls Initiative, and they're building the Gashora Girls Academy in the Bujasera district in Rwanda. Currently, there's no secondary school there, and so we're providing a fund to create scholarships to send children and orphans to school when otherwise they wouldn't have the opportunity to. What's your plan for that? How are you implementing it? Well, we have a three-step plan. First, we're going to start by creating a consistent supply network. Second, we're going to drive demand in the U.S. Third, we're going to manage the distribution channel to create the scholarships for the girls. How are you going to bring it to market? Another three-step plan. First, we're going to start with an online store, and we're going to pair that with an eBay space as well as a store on Amazon.com. Um, to drive demand and drive people to the websites, we're going to start with a viral marketing campaign targeted at universities around the country. We'll be sending out a feverish email campaign to the African Studies Departments, the Women's Studies Departments, Education Departments, and the Schools of Art. Second, we're following this up with a social media campaign. Currently, we already, we already have a group on Facebook, which I'd love to invite you to. In the first week, it actually already had 200 members globally. We're also going to pair this with a MySpace site, as well as a Twitter site, to get the younger members of the community involved. In addition to the online sales, we will also be driving traffic through brick and mortar distribution. We are already involved with several fair trade organizations that are giving us specific days where all the revenues created from their stores will be put into this fund. We're also working with um, different art galleries, eateries, and specialty coffee, specialty coffee stores where the art will not only be sold, but there will also be a description of what it is, where it's from, and who it will benefit. So this will drive word of mouth in addition. Then last so how much money are you going to need for this? Well, the initial investment, if you wanted to invest, is only 25000 But then for each additional 1000 of course, more scholarships can be provided. Mm -hmm. And what we're offering investors is 10% of net income offered an annual dividend. And as we know, 10% is not terribly bad in this economy. It actually works out to a 43% IRR. Hmm. And can you tell me more about the social return on investment? The social return on investment is the most important part, absolutely. What this does for the women is create a secondary school, and we found that with every year of secondary school that a woman has exposure to, her income after graduation goes up 25%. So in the three years that we're sending her through the secondary school, this 25% compounded you know, for three years. This not only has great financial and quality of life implications for the women, but also their families and their communities at large. Increased education actually decreases the spread of HIV as well as infant mortality. So truly by investing in these great paintings or this great project, you're not only coming out with a great return on your investment, gorgeous art, but you're truly improving the quality of life for thousands of women, their community, and Rwanda at large. Looks like we're at your floor. Thank you so much for your time. It was really nice to meet you.